hello guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome and i hope you all are doing well so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful wig right here using only one pack of hair so with that said let's jump right into the video so right here i have one pack of kinky straight hair and also you will need lace for the closure part you will need a black wig cap you will need needle and trade you also need some pins to pin the cap in place and the ventilating needle so i bought this hair from a local beauty supply store for 55 dirhams so when you convert that to dollars that's about 14 dollars and 90 something cents So for this hair inside the pack there are four bundles on in the pack right and I just took one of the bundles out and also this weft is single single weft not double weft so yeah I just took a little bit out of that bundle cut a little bit out of it so right now I'm just going ahead to separate the hair from the from the weft right so next I'm going to take my comb and comb out the short hair so next I'm going to take a little bit out of this hair right here which I'm going which I'm going to be working with just going to go ahead and take a little bit out of it. So next so once you have your hair you want to go ahead and fold it over just like this making sure to have one long end and one short end. So I've already did half of the lace off camera. So as you can see right here with a natural looking hairline going on. <laughs> All right, so now is to move on to the next step. So to show you guys how to ventilate the hair. Okay, so to start, you wanna take a ventilating needle and then pass it through the lace on the hole. So next you want to hook two strands of hair and pass it, bring it back, pass it through the lace. So next wrap the hair around the, the ventilating needle, rotate it to the opposite side or upside down, then gently pull it through the loop. So at this point you want to pay attention to the root of the, of the hair so to make sure that the knot is secured in place. Okay. Again, take your ventilating needle, pass it through the hole on the lace. So next, hook two strands of hair, pull it through. So you wrap the hair around the ventilating needle and pull the hair through the loop. So when pulling it through the loop, you want to make sure that the knot is secured at the base. Okay. So I have a more close up and very detailed video showing you guys how to properly use the ventilating needle. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link in the description box down below. And also you can click on this little icon to your right to watch that video to learn how to use the ventilating needle properly. So I didn't space the hair out when ventilating the hair because whenever I'm working with a little lace like this, I don't like to space the hair out but you can space it out if you want so to do that you want to make sure that you have enough hair to cover where the lace and the black cap meet so where you attach the lace to the black cap you want to make sure you have enough hair to cover that okay so once you have enough hair as you can see right here what I've, as you can see right here this hair right here is enough to cover the um the tracks on the back so to cover where the lace and the black cap meets so now once you have this right here so once you have enough hair to cover that spot then you can go ahead and space it out by skipping one hole if you want okay at this point right here you can space the hair out by once by skipping one hole if you want but for me i don't like skipping like 
spacing the hair out whenever I'm working with a little with a little lace like this. So I'll put the links to everything I use into this video in the description box down below except for the hair because I bought the hair from a local beauty supply store so I don't have a link for the hair but for the rest of the stuff I'll put all the links in the description box down below so be sure to check the description box down below if you want to buy the ventilating needle or lace so be sure to check the description box down below. So getting to the front of the lace, I switch from two strands of hair to one strand of hair and also um, space out the hair by skipping one hole. So I have a separate video showing you guys how to achieve a beautiful and perfect hairline on a small lace closure or teapot lace closure. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and uh, uh, check the link in the description box down below to watch how to achieve a beautiful hairline on a lace closure every single time. Okay, so the link will be in the description box down below. Okay, so here's how the uh, the lace closure part is looking. Love the deep part. So now it's time to move on to the next step. So I already went ahead and braid braid the hair out of the way, so that way I can have a clear space to work with. Okay, so now that the lace closure part is finished, it's time to sew down the tracks. So right here, I'm going ahead to prep the hair, not prep. I'm just going to start by pinning the hair in place along where I want the, the, the first um, track to be. So before going ahead to sew it down. So right here, I'm going in with the pins and uh, pinning it along the edge of the black cap. So I'm sewing the first track along the very edge of the black cap and I'm not attaching it to the elastic band. So I'm only attaching it to the fabric and not the elastic band. So you don't want to attach it to the elastic band. You still want the elastic band to move freely. So you don't want the tray to prevent the movement. So you need to attach it or sew it to the fabric on the edge of the black cap okay and also i'm using the fold over method for this wig okay so since i only bought one pack of the hair i decided to space it out so that way this will help me to ensure that i have enough hair to cover the black cap so i decided to space it out by one inch so i space out the tracks by one inch as you can see right here so like i said earlier this hair is single weft and not double weft and the the hair is thin at the root so i just decided to space it out like this to make sure i will have enough hair to finish the wig so if you want yours to be super full then you need to buy two packs of hair but for me i didn't want the hair to be too full actually when i bought the hair my plan for the hair was to use it to um do a sew in with a leave out but i decided not to do the sew in anymore because i didn't want to deal with the stress of stretching out my hair every time or using heat on my hair when it comes to styling the hair so i decided to just use the the hair for wig so i said to make a wig with it
so here's how the wig is looking so before moving on to the styling or creating baby hair i'm going ahead to wash the hair using warm water okay so after washing the hair using a regular shampoo and conditioner i let it air dry completely overnight so here is the final result of the wig and here she is she is beautiful love this hair it's the texture of the hair in the hair it's so soft okay i can't wait to put this wig on but i still need to take down my protective braids before going ahead to film the uh, the installation video so for now this is the final results i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you find this video helpful if you do please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also if you're new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you already subscribed thank you so much for subscribing thank you so so much for popping by today and i'll see you all in my next one